channel. Today I'm bringing you a very fun video. I'm stoked to try it, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to be reviewing the Chamberlain coffee, uh, matcha specifically, the matcha powder. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I'm a big tea lover and I love, love, love matcha. So I'm gonna get into this. I'm gonna make it with some oat milk and we'll test it out together and see whether I think it's worth buying or skipping. Um, I was just gonna say this is kind of like a blind slash unbiased review because I don't follow Emma Chamberlain, I don't watch her videos. Um, I just wasn't really aware of who she was. I don't really know what her shtick is or whatever. I've watched a couple of videos just to see, but I have no allegiance to her or anything like that. So this is a completely honest review. I just loved her website and all the products they looked. I just loved her brand, how it looked and everything like that. So I thought it'd be fun to try. One second. I did also buy this, um, even though I just told you I don't drink coffee, but I bought this for my boyfriend to try. This is the um, Social Dog Blend Coffee. He said it's it's very good. I asked him whether is it anything special or is it just like a pretty solid good coffee. He said it's a solid good coffee, but it's not like anything special. So, but it is good and it smells really good. I could say that. So anyway, let's just jump right in. Let's just go ahead and open up this matcha. So it has like a little can, like a pull, a pull tab, that's what it's called. All right. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh my god, what on earth? Um, yeah, I did not even oh, it's not like I was even tilting this. What the Okay, it smells bomb though. It smells delicious. Okay. You just get this off. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, hang on, I gotta clean this up. Okay, so just for reference, what I have been using is this matcha right here, which I picked up at Walmart. It's pretty good actually, I think. And I'm gonna kind of follow the directions that this one says to do because the directions for the Chamberlain matcha, um, let's see if you could see. So it's a scoop, whisk, enjoy. Um, so it says add half to one teaspoon of matcha to six ounces of water, and then whisk it with a frother or whisk until the matcha is blended and enjoy. And it says to experiment with your, like how many teaspoons you put in to see how strong you like it. I'm gonna go with three teaspoons and I'm gonna mix it with a quarter cup of water. Just according to this instructions, it works pretty well for me and I'm gonna do it with a cup of cold oat milk. And I'll make an iced matcha latte. So let's just do that. All right, so we have about a quarter cup of warm water from the sink, and I'm just gonna pour it in here. The reason I like this bowl, this little mixing bowl, is because it has a spout, so it'll be really easy to pour into my glass once it's ready. And then let's just go ahead and measure out the matcha powder. And I'm gonna do three teaspoons. Maybe I'll do two actually, I don't know, let's see. Can you see this? It's kind of not even, but there's one, two. You know what, I'll do two and a half. Let's do like two and a half-ish. Okay. Oh, it's good. It smells absolutely amazing. It smells similar to Starbucks matcha, and I don't even know if that's like proper matcha or whatever. But real quick, I'm just gonna use this kind of whisk. I don't have one of those fancy bamboo whisks I see everybody using, so I'm just gonna go ahead and whisk that. But yeah, if you guys have had like matcha from Dunkin' or Starbucks, it sort of smells like that. And I mean that in the best way, like it smells really, really good. I don't know if their matcha is, I don't know, um, ceremonial grade or if it's the highest grade, but I think it tastes good. So interesting that it kind of looks like pasty. That doesn't happen with the other matcha that I use. 
Maybe I'm not using the right whisk. Maybe I should be using a frother. Yeah, it's very like cakey. I think because maybe this is not the best method. <laughs> Somehow it works for the other matcha, but not this one. Um, but let me go ahead and get my glass. All right. So I'm gonna use Trader Joe's oat milk today. And I'm gonna shake it. And we're gonna do one cup. And what I like to do is actually put it right in the bowl with the matcha powder and then pour it into my glass. I've seen people pour the matcha into their cup first and then their milk. I just prefer this way. what it looks like afterwards. And let's go ahead and get this ready for the taste test. Okay, right off the bat, you guys, I put two and a half teaspoons of matcha and it's a little dark for my tasting. I'm kind of like Goldilocks, I don't want it too light. I don't want it too dark, I want it just right. So, and it definitely is like powder. You can see the powder. A frother is definitely, or a handheld whisk is definitely the way to go, I think. Let's try it. Okay, well, that's really bitter. That's extremely bitter. Um, is that what matcha is supposed to taste like? Let me get some sweetener, because this is not sweetened. Okay, I was not expecting that, but that's because I'm a total novice when it comes to matcha. But this is what I'm gonna sweeten it with. Tarani vanilla syrup. Don't wanna put too much. We'll mix that around. I can only imagine what my face looked like. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, let's try it. That's gonna be a no from me, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, maybe it's actually, like, maybe it's actually good and I just don't know how to tell good matcha. But this is very bitter to me. Um, there's zero sweetness. I guess there's not supposed to be sweetness because this one I have is already pre-sweetened and it's perfect. It tastes pretty similar to Starbucks, if you ask me. And the brand is called Jade Leaf. Um, but yeah, this says it's just matcha powder, stone ground from premium Japanese tencha leaves. Um, maybe I just need to find the right way to sweeten it. It's not terrible. It's not disgusting. It's just really unexpected to what I was expecting. Um, I think the problem is the sweetener. It's not horrible. Not horrible, it's just not sweet. Even with the vanilla I put in, I can't taste it. Although it did cut down on the bitterness, I think a little bit, but it's not very sweet. So if I had to rate this matcha powder, well, see, for my expectation, I thought it was gonna be like a eight out of 10. I'm gonna give this a six to seven, because I feel like if you sweeten it properly, you can get it up to an eight or nine. Um, I think the quality tastes good. Like I said, it's not bad. It's not sweet. So um, take that with what you will. If you wanna try this, try it. Let me know what you think. If you've tried this before, or if you have any tips on making this to make it taste better, let me know. I would love to know. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.